Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of the staged deployment feature in Ivanti Security Controls. So, let's get started. We'll begin on the Agentless Operation dialog. Security Controls provides you with a great deal of control over the patch scanning and deployment processes. You have the ability to specify if and when you want to perform all three major phases scanning, staging, and executing the deployment. Let me show you how that's done. For this demo, I'm going to keep things simple by choosing to scan for and deploy patches to just my council machine. Keep in mind that everything I show you here can be applied to scans and deployments to multiple machine groups. I'll start by electing to take the default and perform the patch scan right now. You of course have the option to schedule the scan at some later time if you wish. The next step is to decide what to do following the scan. You might elect to perform just the scan by choosing this option. Or, if missing patches are discovered during the scan, you can decide if you want to stage the deployment package immediately after the scan, or schedule it to occur at some later date and time. Let's talk about why you might want to put some thought into this. The staging process includes creating the deployment package and then copying the package to the target machines. Say your corporate policy specifies a patch deployment window that begins at 10 p.m. Saturday night. To prepare for this window, you can schedule the staging process to begin earlier that day, let's say at 8 a.m. on Saturday morning. This will give the program all day Saturday to create the deployment packages and copy them to your target machines. You can then schedule the actual deployment to occur at the start of your deployment window. Now, when 10 p.m. rolls around, everything will be in place and the deployments will occur without delay on your target machines. Let's initiate our patch scan and see the entire process in action. The operations monitor is displayed automatically and will show the various steps in the scanning process. The scan found four missing patches, and so the program will automatically begin initializing the deployment. It will download the patches to the console and create the deployment package. There, the files are now downloaded, the deployment package is created, and the staged deployment is scheduled and ready to go. You can see that the patches are scheduled to be deployed on Saturday at 10 p.m. This should also be reflected in Deployment Tracker. And sure enough, Deployment Tracker is showing the correct date and time for the deployment. If for some reason you need to cancel a staged deployment, you can also do that here. Say you suddenly realize that you specified the wrong machines or the wrong template. You can simply right-click the scheduled deployment job and then select Cancel Deployment. The program will connect to all machines involved in the deployment and it will delete the scheduled deployment task from each target machine. Note that if a deployment job has started, it can't be canceled. You must catch it before it starts. Finally, Let's close this out and take a quick look at the Scheduled Console Tasks Manager. The Local Patch Deployments tab will show the separate task that was created to copy the patches to the target machines. And, just as we specified, that task is scheduled to begin on Saturday morning at 8 a.m. For more information about Ivanti Security Controls or any of our other products, see the other videos available on this channel or visit our product documentation page. Thanks for watching.